We're joined this morning by Ken Resnick. He's an educational psychologist. And let's, uh, Ken, I suppose, yes, we're left with many questions about what does this mean? And, you know, the age old question of to spank or not to spank. And where do we stand on this um, in, in South Africa at the moment? Look, I think realistically, I don't think you can stop it. I th you know, it's like trying to ban smoking totally. Um, parents are going to spank. They still spank. However, there's that age old, all of a sudden it's come to the fore as the only form of discipline, but it's not, because there's no question children today are just undisciplined, driving parents mad, and it all starts right at the beginning. Mm. And the problem with spanking, it doesn't really work, because if you were to spank a child more than once, it's not working. They did research uh, that school kids that in the old days that used to be spanked, the same kids always got spanked. So if it worked, you'd have to just... So what happens? They become immune to it or they don't understand. I mean, well, what happens when you spank a child? I mean, First of all, it's a, it is abuse yeah. and it breaks down trust. I think if you spank your child, and it's done often in anger, and it does mean immediately the child's not going to be all that comfortable being honest with a parent if they think they're going to get a smack. Mm. It's very doubtful yeah. that they're going to tell the truth, and then, then, then they get a bigger spank for not telling the truth. So it, it doesn't really work, and especially the fact that it's often done in anger. Yeah, yeah. And it, it would, where do you stop? You so know? where's what the lesson do? that's learned then? What is the understanding of what, <coughs> it, what it is that the child's done wrong, I suppose? Do they no, actually understand? I think it's the parents have to understand yeah. they have actually haven't brought these kids up to be more independent, to be appropriate. Many kids are, uh, are not socialized. In my experience today, there's already a three-year-old that says, please and thank you. They take, they feel entitled. Um, so is it bad parenting is what we're saying? It, it comes basically, down to bad parenting. Uh, but bad parenting bad in the sense that they don't know better. They're yeah. trying their best, but yeah. they don't. It's this new trend. I mean, life is happening in, you know, uh, through, through all of this. And we had somebody, uh, somebody in earlier this weekend talking. She runs uh, discipline workshops on how to discipline uh, your, your kids properly. And, you know, and it, it centered around a similar discussion about taking your power back as a parent. And I think that's where we have to start. But then you sit and think, but... Who's got time to sit and think about taking your power back as a parent when you're trying to make a living? You know, get the school fees paid. Yeah, but it is a job. Yeah. Parenting is, a, is the biggest job in the world. It's a management job and you choose to have kids. Mm. Does imply you're going to do the job. And you do, you're guiding them to adulthood, which means you've got to maintain your authority and know what you're doing in guiding them there. Yeah. The moment there's banging heads with kids, screaming and shouting, the kids are in charge. I mean, the kids are in charge, there's no authority. And I don't mean authoritarian. Yeah. So that is where we're getting lost. And there's a lot of strain on marriages as a result. Yeah. And second marriages yes. is even a bigger nightmare, yeah. bringing up somebody else's, somebody else's kids in this kid. day and age. So we need to try and educate parents to understand that they are the primary educators in taking kids into life, in equipping them with the skills to deal with things. Because so many kids are just put in front of that TV, they not, uh, so they mix far too much with adults, they not yeah. that well socialised, they give up, they lack perseverance, and then we're sitting with the problem. Well, I just you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I've got two little kids, and sometimes you know you get to that point where you're tired and you do shout or you do say something, and then you stop and you go, did that really come out of my mouth? And sometimes when it's sort of the balance between. Do I want to spank? Would it have been better to give my child a spank on the bum than say some of the things that have come out of this mouth, which could be more hurtful? No, they're, they're both, I suppose, yeah. different forms of abuse yeah. in a way. But if you can see it, you come to work every day. No matter what sort of mood you're in, you've got to smile and you've got to present. Now, parenting is that job. So whatever your issues are, you've got to know what you're doing. Yeah. So you're allowed to be angry, but if you're going to take it out on the kids, or you've had a hard day... A bit of self-control is what it, we're saying. They, you've got to understand what your job is. And okay. there is a way of doing it. Uh, there is definitely a way of doing so it. So in a nutshell, no benefits to spanking. It doesn't do anybody good. It just allows... A, it, it's just venting for the parent is what yeah. it is at that point. Yeah. That's basically what it comes down to. Yeah. What would you like to see government do? I mean, where we are now, it seems like we're just neither here nor there. Yeah. What would you like them to say about it when it comes to bills and laws and legislation? I think they've got to, they've got to develop parenting programs to educate parents to help them understand their role because we don't want to keep on saying it's bad parents when they're trying their best or you know that won't be only human beings parents we're not superhuman but if you have some idea of what tools we can use because it's like baking a cake lovely ingredients the kid no recipe now the odds of baking that cake is not great and we, need later, be, yeah. Yeah, we need to educate parents Okay, so that's where we start. Not so much about the kid, it's about educating parents. Thank you very much, Ken Resnick. He's Thank had you. a lot of experience with that. He's an educational psychologist.